Okay, that's it then. Um, so. So <laughs> 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 oh, I timed that well, didn't I? Um, so I, I'm just going to do uh, a few um, closing items, basically, and uh, just talk about what's next. Um, so. First of all, some statistics. So, so we ended up with, I know it's more than 150 people because uh, we had 150 register and then a bunch of people said to me, oh, I never bothered registering and so they missed out on all the connect emails and stuff. And so um, that's fantastic. We, had, we think we had about 160 people um, going to Budapest for the uh, Lenara Developer Summit there, but we couldn't count that accurately. This time we know that we've at least equaled that figure and probably gone above it. And a uh, huge number of companies, which is also uh, great in terms of building um, sort of the, the, the community around the NARO. And um, as Lawrence said, it was great to have the, the B4, B4L2 guys. I always say that. Oh, get to my tongue. Um, uh, in terms of uh, actual work items um, uh, completed by the guys, so, so there was some uh, burn down over the week, which was really good, um, and uh, quite a few new work items. Uh, came out of the week as well. Um, and we even, in amongst all of the discussions and so on, um, got quite a few patches upstream, which was um, nice to see. And I know there's a lot more uh, waiting to go up over the next um, uh, few weeks. I've got one uh, special person just to mention, though, uh, and it's congratulations to Deepak, as he said. So he, he must have gone to Paul's uh, patch submission training, and uh, I want to congratulate him on his first uh, Lenara.org uh, patch. Uh, uh, yes. so, so we got um, the, the uh, Lenora Connect tweet going, um, and we hit 100 just before I came in here, so it was 97 this morning, so we, we got up to 100. Um, as is always with Twitter, a lot of them were sort of uh, not, uh, well, they, they were interesting telling us about their day and so on, but there, there was some, uh, some very nice comments going up through the week as well, which was... Uh, Nice to see, and uh, the Twig Picks was used quite a lot as well. Um, I like this one. That was the validation room halfway through. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the lava room uh, halfway through the week. Um, this was just here it was uh, everyone trying to get Matt's uh, schedule stuff working on Sunday night. Rob Clark trying to figure out how the uh, uh, the TI panel board was uh, was going to work, properly. Uh, and then some other nice photos as well. Um, we've had a few blogs going up as well, um, and uh, th th those are uh, available to read. Um, on to thank you. So, um, I, I just want to, uh, okay, you guys are obviously the, the big thank you because you, you uh, produce huge outputs of, of these events. Uh, but there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, and uh, the, the Belfry guys have been absolutely fantastic, um, both before. Uh, this event and um, through it. And uh, I just particularly want to say a thank you to uh, Christian, Charlotte, and Ben, who are just uh, walking up now just to get a bit embarrassed. Uh, so uh, just give them a thank When you organise an event like this, you, you sort of want guys who are actually behind the scenes generally just saying, yes, we can do that, and yeah, okay, I'll go and fix it. And, and that's what these guys are like, basically, particularly during this week, where, uh, you know, Christian was just coming up to me saying, is there anything I can do for you at the moment? And it was just lovely. It made our jobs really easy. So, um, we, we can see what we've got, Charlotte. Um, and I know Ben in particular is really into golf, and uh, I'm hoping you are as well, Christian. So, um, We've got them a voucher to go and play golf at the, the real Belfry. Um, uh, well, really <laughs> uh, Phil Walters is the guy who laid on all the food this week. Um, uh, he's unfortunately not here, but I had a lot of good comments about the food, just the variety of it and the, you know, the, the, the effort that he put in. And, and, um, it'd be really nice if you do see him. 
um, just to just to say thank you. And Mark was the <coughs> IT guy. I don't know his surname, but the IT guy um, inside the hotel. Um, Rob's over there in the corner. He's been quietly organising all of the audio for us. Um, And, and the video and so on and so we're, we're going to see over the next few weeks some of the, um, uh, the, the output of all of these sessions going up on uh, our, our website. And Qualcomm provided, uh, so Jim Warren, is he still here? Yeah, he's right at the back there. Um, so Jim was sort of, um, Jim was almost redundant this week and, and that was for, for Lenaro and that was absolutely perfect because he was responsible for making sure we had great wireless and wire coverage through the uh, Hotel. We had that little blip on Monday morning when uh, us and Apple managed to blow um, Q Hotels um, broadband coverage across their whole hotel chain. So well done, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, but, but other than that, things just held up really reliably, and Jim was obviously doing a lot of work himself, but not really having to sort out crises and stuff like that. So that, that's fantastic. I, I like this graph. Um, I got this every day. But the peak time for um, uh, usage was when everybody came back on the first night from the go karting. So I just want to know what everybody was doing uh, at 11 o'clock. Maybe you could all film me in. And then Thursday, again, I'm not quite sure why that is, but, but that seems to be our most intensive day. You can see the, we were sort of around about, oh, so this is about, you can't read that, this is about 70 megabits, and um, you know, it turns around at 20. Uh, so, um, just want to say thanks again to Matt because um, I've changed my mind quite a lot on these sort of things and I say right you know we'll we'll have a nice simple thing and then I gradually make it more complicated the day before the event starts so he was great not only pulling uh, that together but then uh, maintaining it through the week and I think that we've got the basis there of something that's really quite cool and neat to, to have a future conference <laughs> There's one other person that I just want to say thank you to, and um, she's done an amazing job. And uh, a lot of people here have come up to me and said, uh, you know, a lot of very complimentary things um, uh, about just how the, the, the event's been run. It's the first time she's ever done anything quite this uh, extensive. Um, when I brought her into Lenara, I just said, right, you're sort of going to be just um, doing everything that I don't have time to do and she's really picked up and, and done a fantastic job um, pulling um, uh, this conference together uh, both beforehand uh, again just sort of I just say this needs doing and that needs doing and then she just goes off and does it and comes up with lovely original um, designs and so on so Arwen can you just come up and uh... Arwen knows that she loves her uh, son very much, and so we've organised for her to have a photo shoot with him um, and uh, have some photos after which I think she'll enjoy. Uh, okay, so, so what's happening next? Um, you might have seen outside there's a little bit of stuff going on, so we, we have to clear out of here uh, very, very quickly, please. Um, but they're going to uh, tear everything down in here and uh, we'll, we'll have a, a party in here and out there. The theme is sort of English summer fate. So if you don't know what that means, come along and find out. Um, the, umbrellas. With umbrellas? With yeah, umbrellas? You might need to keep the sun up here tonight, though. That's a nice thing. Um, that, and as you can see, that, that's when the shuttle's going back. Tomorrow morning, I've had quite a few people asking about going to see the, um, the office and the, the validation farm. Uh, Dave Pickett's kindly said that he'll uh, be there at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to let you in and um, uh, show you around and um, sort of answer any questions you've got. If you want to do that, make sure you're in the hotel reception at 9.30. Uh, our office is right by the station, so if you're planning to go um, uh, on from there, then it's a very convenient point to um, A, save the taxi fare on getting into Cambridge, if that's all you want to do, or um, B, go and have a look at the, the farm and then um, uh, go on. Um, uh, on the train uh, from there, or else you can pretty much walk into town from there as well, so it's pretty easy. Uh, the, the, 
the bus will be coming back as well, actually. So if you do want to come back, uh, you can do that. Um, okay, so over the next few weeks, we're, we're going to send out a survey. Um, as I've just said, this is the first time we've run this. Um, we intentionally want your feedback, okay? I know surveys are really boring to complete. Please do so. It really will help us just to make um, this more and more of an outstanding event and something that people are putting in their diaries as an essential um, calendar item in their years. Um, the hotel also would really appreciate your feedback. They've never run an event as big as this, and they've never... Uh, they put in their... Um, the, at the beginning of the year, they had a two-meg pipe, and, and they upgraded um, uh, in March, and that was basically the reason that we chose them. And so this was a real test for them, and they'd be very interested in your feedback. Um, in particular, if there's anybody who you felt did an outstanding job, please just mention them, because they'll get you know, a little bonus at the end of the year. And uh, you guys have got loads of information that's up in your heads, or in email, or whatever like that. It would be wonderful to collect that together into articles and stuff. I know Michael will happily um, collect it and publish it, or um, if you guys already have a blog, then please link to planet.lenora.org and um, help us just to publicise some of the great stuff that you've all just been um, uh, telling us about. Well, we're also going to do a press release following uh, this week, uh, and we'll do another press release in the lead up to um, Orlando. Uh, and then you may have seen a, a resource centre tab on the, um, the Connect website, and that's going to grow, basically. We use the, the app as of um, this event to, so that if there were sessions that you missed, uh, hopefully those will make it onto the resource centre and you can go and listen to them at your leisure or go and look at the, um, uh, the presentations at, at your leisure or you can forward them on to uh, other guys in the organisation. And I just want to let you know um, about the upcoming uh, Connect events. Um, so, uh, first one is already only three months away. And three months, I know, is not a very long time for you guys to figure out visas, to get your managers to say that it's really important that you go uh, to this event. Um, it's around about holiday half-term time in Florida, and I know travelling from the UK, there's already very few flights, uh, or very few seats on flights left. So please, on Monday, start sorting out your travel uh, for... Um, uh, Connect Q4.11, uh, and also register on our website so that we can start uh, uh, tracking who's actually going to be coming. That's really important for us. It helps us in terms of planning the logistics uh, with the hotel and so on, and also uh, planning the logistics with the market. Um, the, the next one in, in February, I'm really excited about that because that's going to be uh, the week before ELC. Uh, we should get a huge amount of traction with um, the, the guys at ELC there. Uh, we should also get a huge amount of traction with Android there, um, hopefully with um, so some of the other uh, key sort of <coughs> prospective members out in the valley as well. So uh, that's going to be a really uh, fantastic event for us. Uh, and then um, the, the Q2 event as well is going to be um, at the start of May, so you can put that into your calendars uh, as well. And um, I'm hoping that we'll finalise the Q3 and Q4 dates uh, over the next month or so, so that you've got a uh, your, your calendar fully booked out for, for next year. That's it. Well done, guys. Um, I suggest you go back, freshen up, put your shorts on, and uh, come back out. And there's going to be some fun things tonight, okay? You, you'll, you'll really enjoy it. There's one thing that I think is an absolute highlight, and uh, I'm going to be taking some photos of it. Just brilliant. Okay, take care. Thank you.